Welcome to Ballistic High Speed, where we combine two of the greatest things on planet Earth. Super slow motion. And firearms and firearm physics. I'm Adam. I'm Bryce. Join us on our journey for Ballistic High Speed. Did you know I had those? Okay. Good? <laughs> Welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. This is gonna be a really fun episode. Um, today we're gonna to be blowing up some various stuff with Tannerite. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about what is Tannerite. So Tannerite is a compound that you have to mix together in these containers, and then when it's struck with a high enough feet per second round out of a firearm, it detonates. Today we're gonna to use a 300 blackout with pretty standard Hornady hollow point ammunition. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of potential for sequels to this video. It's fall right now, so we're going to blow up some pumpkins, pretty obligatory, and then we're going to see what happens if we put it in torso. These are kind of beat up from our past videos. You saw the dragon's breath and those custom shotgun rounds. We're just going to shove some tannerite in it, see what happens. We're also going to see if we can actually capture what it looks like as tannerite detonates um, when it gets penetrated by a round. The detonation velocity is, I think, 5,000 to 7,000 meters per second, which is like 20 some thousand uh, feet per second, which is going to be insane. So fast. incredibly high frame rates. Hopefully we have the lighting for it. Um, we do need a lot of light for such high frame rates. So we're going to see what that looks like um, and then start shoving it into our targets and see what happens. Let's do it. All right. This is a 300 blackout versus one pound Tannerite. In three, two, one. Wow. We'll start it with a flex here. This isn't even 10,000 frames a second, which for some bullets is pretty fast, but for Tannerite, I don't think we're gonna see a whole lot. Okay. Oh yeah, it's just gone. Look at the shape of it. Like the midsection comes out. It's got oh, like yeah. a muffin top. If you freeze frame it right there, it's like a diamond shape almost. Yeah. This is what I expected it's to happen. It's more flash than I thought. Yeah, it was going to be so bright, and we can we can see that here because we're I mean we're in full daylight right now, and it completely That's illuminates right. to where you don't even know it's daytime. It has its own shadows from the new direction. If you showed me that still frame, you could convince me that was a night shot. Oh, for sure. All right, let's go check out the super close up and hope we get some detonation. Let's do it. Oh, completely gone. <laughs> that was a whiteout. Oh yeah, but the first several frames, we've got some good information there. Say, because I don't think I've ever seen somebody do just the ignition of Tannerite. How much time is in between each one of these frames? A thousand frames a second would be a millisecond. 10,000 frames would be 0.1 milliseconds. So each frame is less than 0 0.01 milliseconds. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so we're we're treading into the microsecond territory yeah. is what we're doing. That is wild. I would have had to, I mean, we could do this again. I think we should revisit it, maybe even get a faster camera. This is pretty damn fast. Right. But if we got something that could give us like 500,000 or a million frames a second or something, you could really see that propagation. When we load this pumpkin up, it's gonna be contained mm -hmm. until it busts through the rinds. Yes. And we've seen kind of how it does in a watermelon because it, it follows the splits. So yep. I imagine that's gonna break apart kind of like the old school fragmentation grenades do. They have oh, those yeah, lines sure. cut into it. I bet we see that and with I the think, pumpkin just popping apart. Yeah, I think the, that's my bet. the amount of power in the Tannerite will determine the size of the shrapnel. I think it's gonna to be too much explosive force to care about the seams. I think we're not even gonna be able to tell. It's just gonna be little chunks that come out exactly. everywhere. I don't think it'll care about the seams. Well, I think eventually it's going to blow them apart, but I think the initial, we're oh, going to see it tearing okay. apart at the seams. And then, yeah, they'll probably just obliterate and go everywhere. All right, let's set it up. Let's do it. Cool. All right, so what's our method here? Uh, we don't really have one. Everything is slippery and slimy. So we basically want to make sure that that tannerite stays still. There we go. That looks solid. Like that. Okay. So as long as you hit slightly below center of mass yeah see, see those jars are probably that tall so maybe shoot like put a little spot right there yeah i mean you could put one of our stickers there and aim for it oh there we go good idea there's an idea all right i'm gonna move cameras back all right this is going to be 
One pound of tannerite enclosed in the pumpkin. High speed's ready? High speed's ready. Okay, going off safe. Three, two, one. Oh God. <laughs> it is gone. <laughs> Oh, that's one way to split your lumber. Oh, you split that log. Yeah. Nice. All right, weapon is clear. Oh, wow. <laughs> that goes fast. So you see your bullet in frame for at least a little bit. Look at that. Oh, it's a jack-o'-lantern. The light travels around to the back. Were you right about that? You were right, kind of about, see some of those seams started to split first? Oh yeah, I forgot then, about that. And then by the time the explosion is like full whack. And then nothing matters. It, it just doesn't <laughs> care. <laughs> All right, well that's, that one's about 9,000 frames a second. The 33,000 frames a second. This is what we're here for. Wow. Oh. But what's cool is you, you see all the different stages. I like how you clearly. can see the light is just, I mean, it looks like an arcade game in there. We get the first penetration of the pumpkin, normal entrance, right? Vaporizes it a little bit. And then we get this glow that illuminates the whole, oh, look at the light just moving. That is awesome. That's gotta be as that jar like the, the detonations going through the material, you're getting light wrapping around it. Yeah. You can see it on the walls of the pumpkin. And it just goes. <laughs> and that's insane but what is really cool is we have two pound jars and more pumpkins this is true so we should have roughly twice the explosive power in the same target i say we should do it okay maybe put one of the extra pumpkins on top of that pumpkin an astronaut pumpkin or is that too is that too much astronaut pumpkin. okay send it to the moon astronaut pumpkin all right let's yep. go so there's a pretty scientific method to it really yeah, you gotta cut the core out, but then that's all pointy. So you have to shave yourself a nice level surface so the tannerite will stay in place. And then the pumpkin goes on top, bullet goes in here, and then the pumpkin's gonna go everywhere. To help stabilize the astronaut, we're hoping to, and this nice little wooden dowel rod doesn't pose any dangers or threats. So we cut the bottom out of this, just like that. There it goes. I want to go there. <laughs> Astronaut pumpkin. Astronaut pumpkin. Is that going to be our new sweatshirt? <laughs> I would buy an astronaut pumpkin sweatshirt. All right. Drop a comment if you want astronaut pumpkin swag. All right. High speed ready. Go for it. All right. This is two pound tannerite. Weapons hot. In three. Two, one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Weapon is clear. He didn't move. He literally yeah. didn't budge. But we know something happened because he's gone. Yeah, watch the top of his stem. The entire explosion covers it and it still hasn't moved. Oh, you got a nice shockwave on that again. Oh, very true. Yeah, watch the texture of the corn. Yep. Stalks in the background. tell that there was a lot more explosive going on. I think there was a little bit more of a buildup from yeah. it's expanding and then all at once this one just vaporizes. Yeah. Very clearly see the light starts in the front on the front side of that jar and grows yeah. around the back of it and then shoots back down to the bottom again right at the end there. The weight of the pumpkin just sits there on top of it yeah. and then finally some of it erupts into it. Still looks cool. Yeah, very cool. So you can see right there in that playthrough, astronaut pumpkin 
didn't really go anywhere. Yeah, we probably would have needed a, like a top angle but to see good, around all of that the stuff. The good around. news is we have a real astronaut. This is true. That we could try two pounds again. Let's go, let's go check him out and place our bets on what's gonna happen. All right, because I think it's gonna be cool. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, there you okay, go. Okay, yep, yeah, I need to cut now. <laughs> um, did we give this guy a name yet? Uh, we haven't. I hope he does better than Pumpkin Should astronaut. it be Neil, because he's an astronaut? Neil? Uh, what was that guy's bum gardener? The guy that jumped from the stratosphere oh, for Red Bull? Good point. Well, let us know in the comments. Yeah, what, you got pumpkin in your hair. Do I really? Yeah. Oh, I sure do. <laughs> yeah, right. we're gonna we're gonna need to know his name because uh, his funeral is gonna be soon. Quickly approaching. Yep. <laughs> so we've got the two pound canister in there. You can very clearly see. You can very reason. clearly see it. Uh, I know where to shoot on this one. Yep. This stump. It's probably gonna be its final thing because my prediction is. I think we're gonna get more coming out the bottom. Okay. Because this is this is very compact. Yes. Because they pour this hot and yep. probably in a vibratory machine. So there's no air bubbles, there's no nothing. And so how explosives work is the more compact the explosive package is, the better it works. Yes. Because it'll it'll basically hold back that power, which will create more pressure. Right. And the pumpkin just kind of lets it go. Yep. Where our astronaut here. He's gonna hold it in very well. It's probably gonna blow this stump out. I hope to see a little bit of flight time on him though. I think so. If he can, uh, we have a dowel rod, uh, a wooden dowel rod in him, probably three or four inches, maybe five. If he comes up off the dowel rod, that was a su successful launch. Yep. And then he will graduate astronaut school. As far as total carnage, I think his, uh, his abdomen is gonna completely blow out. Okay. I think the rib cage is probably gonna split to the left and right. I don't think that the whole torso is gonna blow apart. Okay. I think it's just gonna be, the stomach is completely gone, the ribs break apart, and the whole top like half or third is gonna flatten a bit and just move up. I could see ribs coming out here and here because they already are. Yeah. From when we hit it with the dragon's breath. So his sternum could come out, these could come out. You know what? Let's just go find out. Let's just shoot the Let's dang thing. Let's do it. All right, weapon is hot. All right, high speed's ready. Give me a countdown. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh. I'm getting hit with shit. God. Let's check out ground zero first. All right. Oh God. Well, the stump is gone. This used to be nice grass. Yeah, that's some carnage. Well, the dowel is still somewhat there. Where's our astronaut? He's uh, he's AWOL. That's from the other video. That's not him. Is there, is he just gone? I remember these chunks being here. Well, wow, there was a lot of stuff going that way. Oh, those marks in the grass. Is this all that's left of him? Is this our astronaut now? Well, like the like the headshot we did, we're gonna have to see what the furthest piece is. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, here's a bone. Here's a gel. Oh look, tell me what bone this is. It hit your shed and bounced <laughs> into the rocks. It looks like a shoulder bone of some kind. Can you tell? I think that's from his spine, maybe? Oh, maybe it is. is. Did it do that dent in my barn? <laughs> it had to have. What else would have done that? <laughs> <laughs> Your poor barn. Oh, look. look. He splatted on the... Oh. Stuck on the wall. He's all over my raspberries. Yeah, look at this. He's everywhere. He was eviscerated. <laughs> you were so right about the containment of the blast making it more powerful. Dude, I think that's all that's left of him right there. I think that's it. He had to have been liquefied. That was, that's gonna be nuts. Ready for high speed? Yeah. All right. Oh, your thing's done. Oh yeah, my reflector to give us some extra oh. light. Oh. <laughs> that's okay. We got one use out of it, one video. Oh my. Oh, the tripod. I mean, it's a pretty durable one. <gasps> Oh my God. 
<laughs> Those weren't there before. Nope. All right. Um, let's go watch high speed. Oh my no, god, that's mangled. That's okay. Okay. On to the high speed. I oh. feel like he's turned to soup. Let's find out. Oh, oh my gosh. He is soup. That explains the gel everywhere. Oh my god. All right, we got to do frame by frame on this. Lights up, like the API round. It goes oh down out God. the front like we thought in you the beginning. You just went from a medium to an XXL in like three Look frames. Look how wide those ribs that are still contained. See this part, this part right here is what I thought the extent of it would be. Okay. And I thought that top part would just fly up in the up. air. Oh my goodness. If that happened to you, you wouldn't even know. It looks like the water in the pumpkin. Almost exactly. Um, if there's any doctors that do reacts out there, <laughs> let us know what would happen to you. What kind of surgery you would need. If you managed to swallow two pounds of tannerite uh, and then got shot. I really don't know what to say. I almost don't either. This is absolute I mean, insane look at that initial explosion where you can see all the different pockets of different yeah. amounts of pressure that's a dynamic shot right there you can kind of see the sticker leaving frame yeah. so he i mean he went up a little bit he went up <laughs> he did go he, he had lift off he went to heaven he's gone <laughs> The belly button went from an innie to an Audi very quickly. And like <laughs> sub microsecond time. That was a good one. Tannerite though, like it's not even like Anfo or uh, C4 or no. anything like that. This is just backyard shooting kind of stuff. I think that was a that was a pretty good episode. I think so. High speed looks awesome. More gel. <laughs> um, there's gel. We need to find the furthest spot. Uh, according to Google Maps, this should be 75 yards. Which is almost a few hundred feet. That had some power. I think we were right though. It contained, built up more pressure, and then it just <laughs> sent it. Why? Oh, All right, well, the video is done. Yeah. This is about the extent of the carnage we could find. It sent bits up to about 100 yards away. Yeah, it was, and over. Well, that begs the question, what do you guys want to see blown up yeah. with Tannerite? We have a pound left. Let us know. Uh, we don't have any more two pound jars. Oh, we'll buy more. Okay, we'll buy more. We'll buy more. Hit the comment section, let us know, like other people's suggestions, that way we can see what you guys really want to see. Hop over to the Patreon. We follow our comments over there and take suggestions off of that. We would say don't try this at home, but we know that people do, so just be safe. Yeah. Maybe stay back a little bit further than you think you should. Ear protection, eye protection. Yep. Head protection. Something to be behind was very helpful. All in all though, our predictions were pretty, pretty close. spot on. And I'm gonna call astronaut pumpkin was a dud. Yep. Well, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, we appreciate all the support. If you're supporting us on Patreon, um, you kind of get first dibs on suggestions. So head over if you want to support us, we'd appreciate that. And we will see you in the next video. Yes, we will.